everyone! So today I'm going to do another tag video. Um, I know that's basically all that's on my channel, but those are the ones that I really, really like. So, um, I'm going to do a My Feathery Friend tag. And it's supposed to originally be My Furry Friend tag, but I mean, I don't have a dog or a cat or anything that has actual, like, fur on it. So, uh, we're going to just change that. <clears throat> um, I got the idea from... Juicy Star 07, uh, Blair, she's a pretty popular YouTuber, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you know her. So, we're going to start with the first question. Um, this is my feathery friend who's climbing up my shoulder right now. This is my feathery friend, Jasper. I don't know if you can... He's not going to face the camera. That's okay. Um, so, the first question is, what is your pet's name? His name is Jasper, like I said before. Um... Question two is, what kind of pet is it and what breed? He is a parakeet. He's not an English budgie. He's a, just a normal budgie. Parakeet and budgie are the same things. Um, and so, he is just a regular budgie. And he's green. Green and yellow. How long have you had your pet friend? He, I think I got him March. Um, of 2011, like, not even, I haven't even had him for a full year, uh, I got him in March 2011, right before my parents went to India, and I was gonna be staying in the house by myself, and by that time I was already, like, I don't like being in the house by myself, like, I just don't like, cause it's a big house, and I get very lonely sometimes, and so I was like, you know, I need a friend, and I was actually originally planning on getting a son, Conyer, but then I did more research on them, and it's like, they live for so long, and they are ridiculously loud, and, like, I'm living in a single house now, but I don't know what's gonna happen in my situation later, like, if I'm gonna move into an apartment or something, um, and apartments, you can't, you know, apartments are more, they have more noise restrictions than, uh, single houses do, obviously, because you have neighbors that are very close to you, um, so, you know, a parakeet, they definitely make noise, but it's not as bad, it's not, it's nowhere near as bad as the Sun Conyers screeching is. Um, okay, so, question five, how, or question four, how did you get your pet? I went to PetSmart, uh, there's a PetSmart, like, right down the street, and I purchased him. Um, I know a lot of, like, I am definitely all for adopting, like, I, when I get dogs, I'm planning to adopt them. When I have any other pets, I want to adopt them. But the shelter, the only, like, actual shelter near my house was they don't really carry birds. They're more of just, like, a ba a large animal shelter. They have, like, I think they have guinea pigs there, too. They have a lot of guinea pigs and stuff. But they mostly have dogs and cats. And they had one bird that was a cockatiel. I can't get a cockatiel because they're so dusty and I have allergies. Um, also because they're, you know, it's like I already had a bird cage because I had had budgies, like, a few years before. And so it's like that was the right size for, you know, my bird. That was the right size for a parakeet. And so I was I was planning to stick with a parakeet. Um, so I went to PetSmart and I picked him out. That's where that son, Conyer, was actually, the one I was talking about earlier. That's where he was also. He had been there for, like, six months or something because, you know, they're very expensive. He was about... He was marked down, and he was $600, so that's pretty expensive. Um, I don't know what you're so focused on. Well, he's starting to get comfortable, so we'll leave him there. Um, but, so yeah, just bought him PetSmart, bought his other stuff, you know, normal way. Um, how old is your pet? I'm not actually sure. There is a way to tell how old budgies are. Like, just from looking, you can tell if they're a baby. The eyes will be, the irises are going to be completely black. The eyes will be totally black. Um, it's going to be kind of in between gray and black, like kind of an in-between color when they're like less than eight months old, or from eight months to a year old. And when they're over a year old, their irises are going to be completely gray. And Jasper, you won't be able to see it, but Jasper's irises are... They're about, they're completely gray. It's easier to tell when the eyes are pinned, when the pupils get smaller, um, which really only happens when he's, like, excited about something or he's focusing on something. So, but his pupils are completely gray, so he's over a year old. 
Um, I could get blood testing done at a vet's office, but, you know, we're just not going to, because I also, it's, it's also a bit of a pr money problem, because the only vet around here, like, it's $75 for an exam alone, um, and, like, I had to take him to the vet earlier, and he had a blood treatment, and that turned out to be a hundred and, it was like a, a blood feather treatment, he had a problem with the feather, and that turned out to be like a hundred fifty dollars, so it's like, it's, you know, it's not that big a concern to me how old he is, as long as he's healthy. Um, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Okay, he likes, I don't know if these are really, these aren't really quirky to birds specifically, um, these are things that a lot of birds do, I have to sneeze, these are things that a lot of birds do, but he will... He will, he likes to be on my computer a lot, and I think that's because of the heat that you get from it. But he will, um, he'll chew on, he'll, like, attack the keys, and if I'm typing on my keyboard, he'll, like, attack my fingers and try to get the keys. Uh, he'll follow the mouse on the screen, biting at it. Um, basically like a cat with a laser pointer. He will, he likes to go down my shirt sometimes. Uh, I was trying to break him of that habit, because... Then when I have to get him out, he screeches and he's very territorial and it's not... And he's also very territorial when my boyfriend is there. Like, if he's down my shirt and my boyfriend, like, hugs me or is anywhere near my... Anywhere near, like, my chest area, he starts screeching. He flips out. He doesn't like it. Also, because he goes down my boyfriend's shirt and the claws, like, really scratch his back. So he doesn't like that either. So we're trying to break him of the habit. Um, another thing is, he actually has just started doing this. He will... He's not... This isn't unusual for a bird, but it does take a lot of trust, and it takes a strong bond with your bird for them. He'll start preening me. He'll preen my hair, and he'll play with my earrings sometimes. I mean, these ones he doesn't like, but he likes to chew on my necklaces. Um, the necklaces, I try not to let him do that, because, like, I don't know what materials in the necklace metal. Uh, he can also weaken the chain. Like, some bigger birds, they can break a chain. Like, no problem. But he won't break a chain. He'll just... He can just weaken it over time. Like, he's already broken one necklace. Um, thankfully it was a really ugly necklace and I didn't like it anyway. Uh, but, so he'll preen, like, my hair sometimes, he'll preen, he'll play with the earrings. Um, I don't necessarily encourage him doing that to my earrings, but I do encourage, I don't discourage him doing it to my hair because that's, like, the ultimate sign of affection from a bird is for them to preen you. That's basically you being a part of their flock. Um. And I only have Jasper, I didn't get a second parakeet, so I spend a lot of time with him. Like, most of the time when I'm filming a video, he's on the laptop. He's outside of the cage with me whenever I'm home. Um, unless I'm painting or something, or sleeping, obviously. Because he will... Because, like, since I'm the only person there who really, like, is around with him, he needs to socialize. He needs to have that socially, socializing. So, he will be on my shoulder a lot of the time... He actually was sleeping on my shoulder yesterday, so that was pretty unusual, because I've never noticed him do that. He sleeps on the computer a lot. He will not sleep on my shoulder, but he did do it yesterday for about 20 minutes, and then I had to move because, like, I was stiff and everything. <clears throat> um, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? He's my baby. I love him. He's, like, he's basically like a child to me, because I don't like children. Like, I don't like human children, but I still have that sense of, like, needing to nurture something, um, and that sense usually is accomplished with animals, I don't, I don't feel nurturing at all with kids, it's just like, get them away from me, I don't want to be around them, no, but with animals, no, I love animals, and he is, like, he is my baby boy, I love him, he acts like a baby too sometimes, um, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Uh, well, I mean, I just, I just really like spending time with him. Like, that's really, that's really it, and I think it, it's, it's fun to, like, it's just kind of fun to hang out, and especially if we're in the basement, he will do whatever, he will, like, he'll fly to the CD tower that we have, it's a wire CD tower, and he'll climb it, and he'll always get halfway up, and then he chirps until I come, and he wants me to help. Sorry, my thing stopped recording. It always does that. I need to really get a new camera. But, I was saying that, um, 
I have, I, he will climb the CG tower, and then he'll get about halfway up, and he will chirp for me to come and help him climb the rest of it, and then he'll just kind of chill up, up there preening. <clears throat> um, he likes to, or, or what he'll do is he'll fly to the CG tower, just kind of sit on the floor, and chirp for me to, and he will wait, he'll like run to me and then run back. He won't fly, he'll run back. I mean, he does fly sometimes, but his wings are clipped. Uh, we were growing them out, but then his blood, one of his flight feathers broke, and it was, like, it came up to the blood feather. So now it's, like, his wings are a little bit uneven because I'm, you know, I still want him to grow it out. Uh, so we're just leaving his wings alone for now. But so he'll run back and forth until I come and I play with him like that. Um, he likes to, we watch The Nanny. Well, I watch The Nanny, a lot of it, uh, and I watch it on YouTube, and whenever the, whenever Fran starts talking, like, she has a very nasally voice, whenever she starts talking, he will start chirping and babbling, and he'll start talking to the computer, um, he'll do that when I play parakeet noises for him, too, but he does it all the time when I'm playing The Nanny. Um, what are nicknames that you call your pet? This is the last question, by the way. When are nick what are nicknames you call your pet? I call him Baby Boy, Pretty Boy, Handsome, Baby, um, Goofball. I call him Tennis Ball sometimes. Um, he looks like a little tennis ball. I don't know if you can see it right now, but he's, he's kind of poofed up. Um, I call him, I call him Troll, because he is a troll. Like, I was eating, uh, fruit a few days ago, and I had, like, peaches cut up, and I cut a little bit of the peach, because sometimes when I'm eating he will come and explore my food, and he likes to, <clears throat> he likes to, uh, sometimes eat it. So, I cut up a little bit of the peach, and I put it in the plate for him, so he could eat it also. He came and was just throwing pieces, he was just playing with it, he wasn't actually eating it. And then, he did that with this water tumbler also. Usually when I'm drinking this, if I have this on my lap and I'm drinking it, he'll run over and start trying to get to the water, he'll start tapping at it, and if I open it, this is the only way he likes to take a bath. Um, oh, that's another thing about his personality, a quirky thing, I think, is that he likes to take a bath only when I have this for him. Like, I have to open it and tilt it and hold it like this, like in the in midair, for him to climb into, for him to bathe in. And it's a pain because it gets very painful for my arm to be holding it up that long, but it's like, he doesn't have to get a bath very often. It's like once a month or maybe that he needs he needs a little bit of a bath, and it's not like we t when we take baths, like, we he doesn't get completely wet, he just kind of wets his belly and his wings and deals with it himself, but, um, he will, but sometimes he'll just go in this and just flap just to splash water around, he won't actually be bathing, because there's a difference when he's just having fun and when he's actually trying to bathe, or, you know, bathing and having fun, so, yeah, I call him Troll sometimes, and I think he's embarrassed now, so he's hiding. He also dropped a feather on me. He molts a lot. Not molting, but he does shed his feathers. Because, like, birds in captivity, they can, you know, basically molt all the time whenever it's convenient for them. And I guess now it's convenient for him. Um, but yeah, so I think that that's all that there is to this. And he's... Oh, he came off my shoulder really well, actually. So yes, that's Jasper, who just went off camera, I think. Anyways, um, yeah, so, that's all that there is, and if you want to do a response to this, or leave, like, the tag response to the questions in your comments, then, um, I'd love to hear more about your pets. I love animals. I love hearing about people's animals. I'm such a nerd when it comes to that. Um, and if you have, like, if you have a feathery friend, or you have a furry friend, or you have a scaly friend. I mean, I know I used to have two lizards, uh, before I went away to college, and I would have definitely done tags about those. Like, I have some videos, I think, older videos of, like, one of my lizards. The other one was pretty old, and he passed away before I really started recording anything. Um, but, so if you have any animal friend that you would like to, uh, do a video about, I would love to see it. See, he's preening on me now. This is another thing is when your bird is sitting on you and preening, you know that means that they're comfortable with you. Because it's like... Preening and, um... 
preening and sleeping are both, I think, letting down your guard. Especially for birds, that's a hard thing to do. Like parakeets, because they're prey animals. Alright, well that's all I have to say. So, and this is going to be a long video, I can tell right now. Because I had to, this video stops recording automatically at 10 minutes, and that's what it did before. So, he was also just chewing on my hair. So anyways, I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to uh, start editing it and posting it. I still have time, so I can post it before I leave for class. And that's all. Bye.